Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the memory, computer memory. So the main advantage of the computer is storing the data, right? So where this data will be stored? So the place where the data is stored is called a memory, right? So memory means place where the data stored, where the data is stored, right? So how to measure this memory? So for everything there will be some measurements, right? So how to measure this memory? So this memory can be measured in terms of bits or bytes bits or bytes so we know that the computer can understand only the two digits that is zero or one that means we call it as a binary language binary language so either zero or one is called bit is called bit either 0 or 1 right so 8 bits that means the combination of zeros and ones 8 bits will give 1 byte 1 byte see in our computer language if it is represented as a small b that means it is a bit if it is represented as a capital b that is represented as a byte a simple representation the only representation is different if it is a small b it is a bit if it is a capital b it's a byte now 1024 bytes will form 1 kilobyte 1 kilobyte okay and similarly 1024 kilobytes will form 1 megabyte this is a kilobyte and this is a megabyte and similarly 1024 megabytes will form 1 GB that is gigabyte 1 gigabyte okay similarly 1024 gigabytes give 1 TB it's a terabyte right similarly 1024 terabytes will give 1 petabyte okay so like that we'll measure the computer memory in terms of bits or a bytes so if it is a 1024 bytes that implies 1024 into each byte is 8 bits into 8 so total 1024 into 8 bits okay that means a combination of zeros and ones so this is a nothing but our measurement right so computer memory measurement now how many types of memory are there how many types of memory so there are different types of memory in a computer language so memory can be divided into three categories primary memory secondary memory cache memory cache memory primary secondary and cache memory and again this time primary memory is divided into two categories one is a ram another one is a rom okay ram stands for random access memory 
ROM stands for read only memory and again this secondary memory divided into a floppy so in the earlier days we are supposed to use this floppy disk and then CD or a DVD that is an optical drive and hard disk hard disk right and again this hard disk is divided into hdd hard disk drive and sdd solid state drive ssd okay sorry ssd yes ssd so whereas ssd uh, the speed it gives a more speed than the hdd right and it's more expensive than hdd and the cache memory so here also it will divide into different caches l1 l2 and l3 so based upon the placement of this cache it will be categorized into l1 cache l2 cache and l3 cache so coming to this ram so in this session i will give you a, a overview of all these things and in the next session we'll see different types of ram different types of rom and uh, the levels of cache right so ram is a volatile memory volatile memory means whenever the day the power is off whenever the power is off whatever the data available in this ram will be erased see all these are the memory so everything will be having the data even ram will be having the data that means ram stores the data rom stores the data floppy will can store the data cd or dvd can store the data and similarly hard disk can store the data as well as cache memory can also store the data so ram is called a volatile memory because whenever the power is off immediately whatever the content available in this ram everything will be erased right and rom means non volatile non volatile memory so non volatile memory means whenever the power is off the data available in this rom will not be erased so it remains same the data will be remains the same right so best example so whatever the process we are going to execute that process will be stored in this ram and it will be given to the processor right that complete data will be given to this ram and from this ram only we are going to execute the process and coming to the rom so in the previous session I have discussed about the bootstrap loader so which is used to load the operating system into the ram so that bootstrap loader will be available in rom so that's why whenever the power is off the data will not be erased the bootstrap loader will be having the operating system and this operating system will be stored into the ram right so whenever the power is off the data in rom will not be erased right so next a floppy disk which is a uh, external device so we'll be having some floppy drive so we need to place this floppy disk into that floppy drive and we can store the data external drives that means right so now nowadays no one were using this floppy disk and then cd drive and dvd drive so the usage of cd or dvd is also very less in these days so almost uh, and again we can also categorize as a flash flash drive right some flash drives so somewhat uh, more memory than floppy cd but less than the hard disk okay so here hard disk where uh, this is called a secondary memory where the complete data will be stored in the hard disk so whenever we need we require we can retrieve the data from this hard disk and that is two tech two categories so hdd and ssd solid state drive so solid state drive is a more expensive than the hard disk because it gives the fast response it will give the fast response than the hard disk right and the cache memory cache memory is uh, the memory between the cpu and uh, the ram okay so the secondary memory right sorry so this is available in between the cpu and main memory okay sorry cpu and a main memory so whenever the uh, processor wants to get the data so the frequently used data can be stored in this cache memory in order to get the fast response right so if if the data want to be executed that data be, will be searched first in the cache memory so if it is available in the cache memory automatically it will be retrieved to the processor it will be given to the processor and it will be stored in the main memory and it will be executed right so it is the memory in between the cpu and a main memory so 
that is an intermediate part okay so for fast execution all the frequently used data will be stored in this cache memory right so hope you understood this one so in the next session we'll see the types of ram types of rom and this cache memory particularly this cache memory and uh, the different levels of this cache also we'll see okay so let's stop here and uh, hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this computer memory feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much